Yo, what's going on with you YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And what we have here today, bam, that's right. And these are the Nike Mac Attack Quick Strike Special A. These have been released since 1984. This is the re-release from John McElroy. If you guys didn't know, he, he was a tennis player and he was endorsed by Nike. And the tennis shoe, you know, this is a tennis shoe, so... You know, something a little different, something that haven't came out in like, what, 38 years? I want to see how I do the math, 39 years, 38 years. So, hey, this is something kind of cool for us to finally get. It hasn't released. Now, I am not going to say, yo, I've been waiting for these things since they first came out. Because 1984, that was before my time, you know? Like, I was born in 86, so I was a kid. I didn't remember, you know, I was a little baby. I did not remember these things at all. And this is the first time they released, man. So this is actually pretty cool for us to finally get and just for it to re-retro. Now these things only retail for like 120. So um, what was the price in 1984? Was it like 50 bucks or something? Kind of curious to hear about that one. Cause you know, obviously with the price difference of 48 years and with Nike being like top tier now. So now this release was a quick strike. Um, it came out June 23rd and these things weren't like, like everywhere these were not at foot lockers and champs and finish line and all that and i don't think they release on the sneakers app just yet maybe they might maybe they will with the wait and see but as of right now they are only at your local uh neighborhood stores so just like whatever your sneaker boutiques is that's probably who the only one i got it like union la bodega stuff like that so and if you guys really want these things, I think you should go go ahead and check out your local store, see if you can get them in store, because this is what we've been wanting, right? We wanted, you know, no more online where the bots can get them, or no more on sneakers out where there's like a hundred thousand people on it and people bought all day. You can just go up to your local sneaker boutiques, walk in the store, and grab your pair. Easy. Wasn't that much hype on these things to begin with. You know, I don't think a lot of people were actually dog on this shoe. Like a lot of people were saying these shoes were trash. Like, what are you doing? Why is this even a thing? I get it, man. Hey, obviously, I got introduced by the shoe by Travis Scott. The way how Nike endorsed these things and the way how they uh, promote it and advertise it for it to come right back out. You know, with with Travis Scott. Now, Travis Scott, uh, you know, is probably one of the biggest name in the sneaker games right now, especially with his shoes. But you know, it does have a little bit of Travis Scott effect to it. So you guys can say what you want. I'll go ahead and say it for you. If you didn't, if it wasn't for Travis Scott, you wouldn't like him. You're a big hype beast. Da da da. Okay. The reason why Travis Scott was behind the shoot because he's having his own uh, Mac attacks or, you know, Mac or, or Nike attacks, you know, and he's going to have his own backwards whoosh to it. Now, if these things did have the Travis Scott name to it, these things would have sold out really, really quick. And these things probably would have worth couple hundred bucks like because right now these things are not worth that much at all we'll talk about resale later on this is from john mackerel this is his shoe back in 1984 and if you guys didn't know he was like the goat of the tennis players now i'm not gonna act like i know a lot about tennis because i don't you know i don't really watch that much tennis kind of a menace maybe that's why they call these things the attacks because the way how you said kind of go at people and like you know was a little it was kind of mean out there. I'm sure you guys seen. Remember on ESPN, this has been showing a lot all the time. Remember he was yelling at the Empire or the referee. He was like, "You cannot be serious," because over a controversial call, he used to just go at people. So he had a little bit of a temper, and maybe that's why a lot of people like them. You know, maybe a lot of people like that type of play back in the day. But anyways, let's talk about the shoes. Let's just go ahead and get into this review real quick, huh? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things. And I must say, they cool, man. They nice. Take a look at this leather quality here on the toe box. Nice and soft. Is this smooth leather. Well, more plush leather, I want to say, throughout on the toe box and even on the side panels as well. Now, on the toe box here on this black panel, it's like a mesh material. So I'm guessing, you know, in case it were, it will crease, give it some comfortability, you know, to play tennis out there and it's the same materials on the side panels as well on this gray material and it does have that big black nike swoosh here on the heels you have a black panel uh smooth leather and also on the heels as this gray side panels as well and on the ankle collar it does have this black ankle collar leather on the back and on the back of the heels it does have that nike on the back same on the inner side as well now the tongue is this mesh material uh tongue here basically the same like an air jordan one 
and also check out the nike tag here on the top got that nike air with that checkerboard in the background with that black and blue inside the insole here you have that gray sock liner inside and that nylon sock liner and then inside it tells the sizing here on the side and i'm guessing is this a SKU number on the side here on the ankle collar <laughs> gray insole nothing crazy but look how narrow this is man this is going to be a narrow shoe so in my wide foot people out there whole preparation here on the side of the panels here and then on midsole you have that white midsole with that stitching through the midsole and then on the bottoms here different kind of like patterns here you have a circle and a square circle square circle square that uh nike embossed logo and you have that checkered pattern here on the back same with that circle square circle square definitely 80s vibes man and then of course you have the stars all around the entire shoe on the outer the outliners don't want to get your soles all nasty and dirty make sure you guys get on that drip grip use my discount code jumperman10 it is the best sole protector on the market today no slippage no tears multiple wears i wore these at a god sole in miami day two and it's still good to go so guys make sure you guys get on that drip grip Protect your souls from getting all nasty and dirty on stuff. And don't forget to use my discount code, Jumperman10. All right, there you guys have it, man. These are the Nike Attack or the John McElroy's and McElroy. Anyways, uh, it is a tennis shoe. I still think it's pretty dope. I'm glad that Nike brought these things back out. It's been like, what, 34, 38 years or something like that from 1984. And they haven't came back out yet since today. So this is the first time they came back out. So. I can appreciate some of this, man. It's kind of history almost, you know? But anyways, um, sizing wise, you guys can see, it is a very narrow foot. I am a, you know, I have a skinny foot. So I guess I could have went true to size. I went ahead and went, uh, got my size nine and a half. It fits just fine. But I'm afraid for my wide foot people out there, I don't know, maybe try to go up to your local sneaker boutiques and check out you know the sizing and see if you can put it on see if it fits right for you so because you might have to go size up not too short like i said it's just very very skinny and it's very very narrow so just be careful now how i would rock these things man i don't know maybe going to like a bingo hall or something or a barbecue <laughs> no i'll just rock these things regular man like I'll, I'll actually put some decent fits to it you know wear some jeans or something it's still a nice shoe to, to kind of just wear around all the time so not bad now, resale wise, I guess I'm, I'm pretty sure people want to know about resale wise. I'm pretty sure these things are actually going over retail because these things, remember, these things only retail at 120. And I think prices, I think a size nine are going for like 160, you know, maybe 20, 30 bucks over retail. And bigger sizes are like 180. So there is a little bit of profit to be made if you guys do want these things, you know. I think these things might be actually a pretty tough seller though. So just. Be aware of that because it's just not that mainstream i'm not sure price will hold up i think it's one of those things where you might want to quick flip it but you know hey if uh travis scott decides to drop his these might bring a little bit of hype if it does have that travis effect to it still but and for the people that's hating on them on the attacks the mac attacks look if you like nike dunks and air jordan ones they're almost pretty similar it's, pr it's pretty kind of close. It's just a little different design, you know? Hey, I got plenty of Air Jordan ones. I got plenty of dunks in my collection. I just wanted something new. We have to wait and see. But hey guys, that's just my little quick review on these Mac Attacks or the Attack Nike Air. You guys let me know, did you guys cop these things or not? Or you're not feeling them? I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the comments are gonna say, these are trash, what are these? Uh, I don't know what these things are. I get it. Anyway guys, just want to say I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at GermanChris and IG. Sometime on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm GermanChris. Peace.